Uh, this is a absolutely stunning location up in the mountains. And it's even more beautiful with all the fall colors. Our first stop here at La Gaspésie is at La Route des Belvedere, or the Route of Scenic Lookouts. All right, our adventure around La Gaspésie officially begins here in this very nondescript hotel parking lot here in Campbellton, New Brunswick, which is just across the river from Matapédia, Quebec. Well, this is the last English we're gonna see for a while, so allons-y à la Gaspésie. Let's go to the Gaspé. First stop here at La Gaspésie is at La Route des Belvedere, or the Route of Scenic Lookouts. Um, first one we're stopping at here is La Belvedere des Deux Rivières, or the Two Rivers Scenic Lookout, because just over my shoulder that way ours is the uh, confluence of the Ristigouche and the Matapédia Rivers. Um, you can actually see the Belvedere directly above the sign up on the cliffside there. Um, it's a short little hike up there, but nothing we can't handle, so let's go. This is a fairly steep trail, but it's it's a short hike. One of the coolest things about being up here during the fall color season is you can actually hear the leaves falling out of the trees. It kind of sounds like it's raining, but it's just the leaves falling out of the trees. So if you're at all familiar with the Appalachian Trail that runs from Georgia up to Maine, um, there is actually a part of it that extends up into Canada called the International Appalachian Trail, or as they call it here, Le Sentier International des Appalaches. And uh, that's one of the entrances to it. Um, it's actually closed right now, but I wasn't planning on hiking it anyways. But there's, there's plenty of access up to it up in the Gaspésie region. But enough of that. Let's go check out La Belvedere des Deux Rivières. We're not, we're not even into the Belvedere yet, and just look at this view. All right, let's go see what this Belvedere has to offer. I'm not sure which one of these rivers is which, but one of them is the Ristigouche River and the other one is the Matapédia River. Um, that block of land right behind me there is still Quebec, but if you turn around, the far land on the other side of the river over there is New Brunswick. And so the hike up here, according to my GPS, is half a kilometer, 500 meters, um, with an elevation gain of roughly 60 meters. So. It's a steep hike, but it takes less than 10 minutes, so it's pretty doable. But yeah, and this Belvedere is made of nothing but these just beams, and it's designed with this kind of funny twist in it so that uh, you can both get shade in here 
during the hotter months as well as cast some kind of crazy shadows and stuff in here when the sun beams through in the cooler months. But yeah, if you're in any kind of abstract art or anything kind of super creative like that, this is a pretty cool place to be for that. Hike down should be quite a bit easier than the hike up. Alright, that is one velvet air down. On to the next one. So the second Belvedere is the Belvedere Coeur des Plateaux, or the Heart of the Plateaus Scenic Lookout. Uh, it's about a 10 minute, maybe a little bit less than that, drive from the Belvedere de Deux Rivières, near the town of Saint-André de Ristigouche. Uh, this one does not have, there's a short walk to it, but it's not really a hike. Um, so this one is, this one requires a little less effort to access. You won't be able to see it from uh, this camera here, but you can actually, if you look down there in the field there, you can see the velvet air. All right, so here we are at the trailhead for the Belvedere Coeur des Plateaux. Uh, this is a absolutely stunning location up in the mountains and it's even more beautiful with all the fall colors and it actually says it right here on the sign right there it's 480 meter walk to get out to the Belvedere so half a kilometer out half a kilometer back one kilometer round trip pretty easy walk I mean like we're still even just at the trailhead here I mean you look across the street here and look at look at the color the fall colors over here but yeah, right across the street from the Belvedere Trailhead um, is the International Appalachian Trail. And uh, you can see the sign up there. The Chute à Roger, Rogers Waterfalls, is two and a half kilometers that way down the trail. We're not going to hike down there because we're going up to the Belvedere. But there's plenty of stuff to do here should you come visit. If I spin around here, that's the Belvedere right out there. It's a lookout tower. I can tell you the view at the top of that thing is going to be absolutely spectacular. It's a 360 degree view. All right, so we've made it up to the Belvedere, Coeur de Plateau. And uh, for reference, while the hike up to the Belvedere des Deux Rivières, that gained 61 meters in half a kilometer. This hike gains 12, so much easier hike. But then of course, you do have all the stairs to climb up once you get inside the Belvedere. This, my friends, is a view. I mean, this is this is just one of these places that's just so beautiful that, like, I don't even know whether photos or video captures its beauty better, but 
even with both of them, it's incredibly hard to do. And it's also fun on days like this where the sun is kind of coming in and out of those clouds to, uh, and this can be a little tricky with a 360 degree view. But again, look down sun for this. But you can basically just chase around these pockets of light as they come through the clouds and just absolutely light up those landscapes in those really golden, warm golden oranges and yellows and everything. And you, you can get some pretty spectacular pictures with it too. Well, I think that's gonna just about do it here from La Belvedere, Coeur des Plateaux. And uh, I think we're gonna start heading back to the car now. So the lesson to take away from this is De Belvedere, De Vue, Complètement Différent. Well, that was really spectacular. So yeah, this is actually going to do it now for our adventure through La Route des Belvedere. There is actually a third Belvedere, which is called La Belvedere Horizon des Rêves or the Horizon of Dreams scenic lookout. But that one is actually temporarily closed right now because it was recently deemed no longer structurally sound. So they're tearing it down and rebuilding it. And I've heard, I've also heard grumblings that there's gonna be a fourth Belvedere built at some point as well. But the two we've seen have been just breathtakingly spectacular and uh, it's a fantastic way to start our adventure around La Gaspésie. So as beautiful as it is up in the mountains here, we're actually gonna head back down to the coast now to pick up Highway 132 to start working our way around La Gaspésie. Um, and next next up, we're gonna go, uh, is the south coast of La Gaspésie, where we're gonna learn about the region's fascinating maritime history. Actual piece of the French warship, the Michaud. 